What is up my boy eight warriors and welcome back to another video and another follow along. You guys requested it so here it is. We're going to go through a follow along upper body slash overhead flexibility routine. As always the full routine is available in a pdf in the description down below so you can grab it if you want it offline. Otherwise let's jump into the follow along. Right we're going to start and we're going to start in a quadruped position and all we're going to do is we're going to start with a little bit of like spinal mobilization. We're going to do some cat cow. So we're going to come first of all into our extended position and breathe in. Try to arch your back as much as you can and then breathe out and try to push your sternum as tall as possible. We're just going to do five of these just to warm up briefly. So breathe in. You may feel some clicks, some cracks. It's all good. That's what we're after. Breathe in. Try to lift the head as well, extend the back. Breathe out, go back up to the top. On number four, breathe out. And we're just gonna do one last one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump into another mobilizer uh, and we're going to start just lying on our left hand side and we're going to extend our arm out away from us just going to lie down relax the head grab yourself a pillow if you want and then all we're going to do we're going to reach forward with our arm and we're going to try and draw the biggest circle that we can now if you get to a point where you feel like you're a little bit stuck or maybe it feels a little bit painful just pause in that spot take a really deep breath in expand the rib cage breathe out and then just continue. So we're gonna go all the way around as far as we can. I'm gonna have to stop because there's a palm tree in the way. And then we're gonna reverse that motion back around. We're gonna do three of these on each side. This is kind of flushing out the tight points. So just nice, slow, draw the biggest circle that you can. Pause in the tight spot, re-expand really the ribcage, breathe out, and continue to go all the way around. And then bring it back around. Last one on this side, we're going to switch over. So breathe in. All the way around. And return it to the starting position. And now I'm just going to swap. So you can just roll over. I'm going to swap sides so I'm still facing you. Again, lie on the right hand side now, right arm out. Left arm on top, reach away from yourself and draw the biggest circle you can possibly draw. When you get to that sticking point, nice deep breath, expand the ribcage and then continue. The goal here is just to have your hand being able to comfortably touch the floor all the way around that circle. So I'll bring that one back. So for me, I'm finding this shoulder is a little bit tighter which is what I kind of expected. So I'm going to go around. I know it's a little tight spot here, so I'm going to pause. Nice deep breath in, expanding the ribcage, breathe out, continue. And we're going to do one last one. So breathe in. This one is just a really great one to add in in the day, maybe before you get into bed. It's part of my evening follow along routine if you haven't tried that one yet. Right, so we're gonna come back up to the top. One thing that can commonly limit shoulder flexibility is your biceps. So we're gonna give them a stretch as well as shoulder extension in general. So we're gonna place our hands behind us in this position. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna do five reps of a tabletop. So we're gonna press up, pressing the shoulders into the ground. Should feel a stretch over the bicep, pause for a second. And then come back down. Let's do five of these. Let's still pause at the top. Shuffle about a bit. Find where it feels tight. And two more. And last one. 
So it should feel like a nice stretch over the bicep on those. Give it a little shake about, place the hands behind again. And all we're gonna do is just gonna shuffle our hips forward and bring a stretch over those hands behind us. Try not to lock out the arms and just rest them. Try to have a slight bend in the shoulders and try to feel like you're pulling your shoulder blades back and lifting your chest up. And you should feel a nice stretch over the chest, over the biceps. And we're just gonna hold this position and breathe for like 30 seconds. Some of you may notice that some positions are gonna be tighter than others. Um, so it's really good just to pay attention to that one because what limits your shoulder flexibility may be different from mine or somebody else's. So taking this, being a little bit more individual, maybe you pause the video, spend a little bit more time on the ones that feel really tight. If they all feel tight, just keep doing it. <laughs> right, and come out of that one. We go back onto our quadruped position and we're just going to do a thread the needle. So I'm going to take my left hand, I'm going to reach through my right, and I'm going to reach as far as I can and then I'm just going to come down and what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and twist away from that hand. So you should feel like a nice stretch across the back of your shoulder, maybe slightly into your traps. Um, nothing too serious, maybe even into the lower back a bit. It's just a nice general stretch. Again, we're going to chill out here. What you can try and do is you can do some PNF. You're going to press your left hand into the ground, slightly contract it, breathe out, try to twist a little bit more into the stretch. So I'm just going to hold this here for a second longer. And then we're going to come back up. And we're just going to swap sides. So thread your right arm through, come down as low as you can twist into the stretch, should feel a stretch around the back of the shoulder, maybe even into mid back. And again, we can press now our right hand down into the ground and breathe out, try to twist away. Do a couple more. So, should be feeling a little bit loose now. We're gonna finish up with one final passive stretch now. We're gonna come forward, stay in that kneeling position. Arms are gonna go together, we're gonna lock it in our fingers, and then we're just gonna try and push our chest down into the ground. We don't wanna to try to arch loads in the back. We wanna just try and keep a relatively flat, square back. And you should feel quite an intense stretch on the lats on the posterior delts, and even into the triceps. I'm just gonna hold this position here. Again, not arching, slightly rounded. The tension should be on the shoulders. All right, so. Give yourself a breather. That's the first part of the passive routine done. Give yourself 30 seconds, shake it off. We're now gonna jump into a couple of active stretches for the shoulders. So, first things first, you're gonna to want to lie face down on the mat and we're gonna have our hands at 90 degrees going out sideways and elbows bent to 90 degrees. What we're gonna do, we're going to try and lift our hands up as far as we can into external rotation. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold that position for five seconds. So lift, hold, lift as high as you can, maximum effort, and then relax. And we're just going to do five of these. So lift, hold, and relax. Lift, hold, and relax. We'll do three over halfway now. If you can't quite lift your hands, even just thinking about trying to lift them as hard as you can, that is good now. So last one, lift, 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 lift. And relax. Staying lying down, we're going to bring our elbows in front of us. You're going to lock those fingers in just like we did before. You're going to shuffle back 
and then we're going to try and push our chest down to the ground placing our hands behind our head so again we should feel like a nice stretch in the lats in the posterior shoulder this should be kind of an active position so you're trying to actively push your chest down so it shouldn't be completely relaxed but we're just going to chill here for 30 seconds If you want to take this up a notch, you get yourself a stick and then you can force yourself into external rotation in the butcher's block, which I have a whole video on and I'll link down below. So we're going to take another breather. So that is phase one. We're just developing a little bit of external rotation. Now we're going to work on that overhead position. So shake it off. We're going to go back into that lying position, but this time we're going to have our hands directly out in front of us. So arms will be overhead, thumbs up, head down, we're just going to try and lift our hands as high as we can into the sky. Again, we're going to do five seconds, maximum effort, trying to lift our hands up, pause for five, and we do five reps. So, lift, and relax. Now, if you, again, if you can't lift them off the floor, just trying to lift them off the floor is going to work, it's going to help develop this flexibility. So. Let's lift again. And relax. Two out of five. Let's do the third one. You should feel those traps burning in the mid back. Try and lift this up. So, two more. One. Lift. And relax. Only one last one. Lift. And relax. So from here, what I'm going to do, we're going to come onto our knees. And we're going to place our hands straight out in front of us. And we're going to try and lift onto our fingertips. And we're going to try and press down. If the fingertips is too intense, just come flat palms. This time we can go for a bit of an arch because we're going to get a little bit of thoracic mobility as well. So we're just going to come and we'll try and press our chest down. Really feel that stretch. Now you can experiment. You can go a little bit wider with the hands. That's going to make it a little bit easier. I personally prefer to come a bit closer. And we're just going to chill out in this position. Do a bit of PNF so you can press your hands into the ground. Let go, relax, try to go a bit deeper. And we can relax. We're going to finish up with one final stretch. So what we're going to do is if I come this way so you can see better. Just in a kneeling position or a seated position, if you can't kneel comfortably, grab your hands behind your back. And we're just going to lift our chest up. We're going to pull down with the hands, pull back, and then just tuck the chin slightly. So this is gonna, it's a good posture one. You might feel a stretch in your neck. You might feel a stretch throughout your chest, through your biceps. It's just a, like a nice all-in-one quick posture stretch. Again, I've got a whole video on this one. So just gonna hold this one for like 30 seconds, squeezing the back, pulling the hands down. And that is an overhead shoulder flexibility routine. If you wanna take this a little bit further, you could repeat these last four exercises, the external rotation, the butcher's block, lifting the arms overhead, the full lat stretch, you could repeat those a couple more times. But otherwise, overhead flexibility takes a long time to develop. It's taken me years and years of hard work, daily work, to get my shoulders open. They're really, really stubborn. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. But that has basically been it for this week, guys. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Just hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. If you have a friend who has tight shoulders, why not send them this video, share it with them, let them know how to sort their shit out. <laughs> if you just want to let me know what you thought of or suggest another follow along routine, leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to make a routine for you. But that has basically been it for this week, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a strong week and peace.